Here is how to get mods in your Eternal server. Let's go. The first thing you want to do is obviously turn off your server. Once your server is off, you want to scroll down here on the server page and you're going to change the software from vanilla. So go ahead and press change in here. And we're going to change it into something that supports mods. As you can see, there's a lot of them that support mod. There's fabric, there's forge. So in here, it comes down to preference, which mods do you want to play? If you have already done your research and you found that you like some mods that are for fabric more than some mods that are for forge, then choose fabric. But if you like the forge mods more than fabric, choose forge. At the end of the day, it comes down to your preference. But for this video, we're going to use forge since typically forge has more mods now go ahead and press on that mod loader and that will put you over here where you have to select which version of forge you want to use as you can see it goes from the newest minecraft down to the oldest that they have available in here i'm gonna go ahead and select 1.21.5 since that's the newest minecraft but feel free to choose whichever one you want now it is very important that you do remember which minecraft version you're choosing when installing a mod loader so if you choose 1.21.5 just remember that's the one you're using now once you select a four version go ahead and press install right here it shouldn't take long before it's installed and after it's installed you will see the mods folder just added down here under software so go ahead and press on it now in here we could start adding mods into our server you could search up whatever mod you want to add in here there is some mods in here that are client side mods like for example journey map that's a client side mod not a server side mod meaning that you don't have to add this into your server for you to use it you only have to add it into your game now you could choose whichever mods you want in here but i'm going to use waste stones for the purpose of this video so press on the mods that you want to install and then you'll bring you over here where you're going to select which version of the mod you want to install now just make sure that it matches the minecraft version that you use for example, we're using a 1.21.5 version of Forge, so we're going to install that one. So just go ahead and press on the download button right here on the right. Now, once you install your mod, it's going to change into a check mark down here and also check if it has any required dependency. As you can see, Waystones needs this bomb mod to run. So I'm going to have to install this mod as well, not just a Waystone. It won't work by itself. It's probably going to crash my server. So I'm going to have to install the dependencies as well. Now, to install the dependencies, just press on it right here and it will bring you to the dependency page where we're going to go ahead and install it just like we did earlier with the Waystone. Just make sure you install the 1.21.5 or the version that you chose. Again, click on the download button right here. And once you have all the mods that you want on your server, it's now time to set up things on your end. Don't start your server yet. Let's go ahead and install the mods on your computer first. Now, remember that we created a Forge server? Well, we need to install Forge in our computer because using regular Minecraft won't work. So if you or any of your friends want to join your server, you're going to have to install that mod loader that you use on your server. In this case, I use Forge, so I'm going to install Forge. But if you chose Fabric, I'm also going to leave a Fabric link down below in the description. Okay, the process of installing this is going to be the same. It's going to be pretty similar. So just follow along. Now, let's go ahead and install Forge because that's the one we use in this video. So click on the second link in the description and I'll put you in this article in here. In case this video is too fast for you, you could always come back into this article. But if you want to go straight to the point, come down to step one and press on Forge. That'll redirect you over here where you're going to choose the Forge version that you're using on your server. In this case, it was 1.21.5. So go ahead and select your version and then click on Installer. And that'll bring you over here where you have to wait five seconds. And after five seconds, you're going to press Escape on the top right and they'll begin the download for the installer of Forge. Now, once you download that Forge installer, which is the mod loader, remember that we're installing our server, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Now, with Forge in your desktop, go ahead and close Minecraft as well as the Minecraft launcher and it's time to install Forge. For that, just double click on it. And by the way, if you double click on Forge and the installer doesn't open as it did in here, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in just a second. But if the installer does open, go ahead and select Install Client and press OK. And like I was saying, if the installer didn't open that's because you need java and not any java you need a java that matches your forge version but how do you know which java matches your forge version well i created this tool called javacraft and i'm going to leave it in the description of this video so all you have to do is come over here into javacraft and place the minecraft version that you're trying to play let's say that you're playing 1.21.5 enter that in here and press check and it will tell you which java do you need in this case we need java 21 without java 21 in your pc you won't be able to open the installer either for forge or fabric so again i'm gonna leave that link down below for javacraft where you'll be able to check which one you need it will change depending on the minecraft that you're playing now once you have the java that you need in here you could download that yourself from google or you could just press download java from here and then follow the installation which is pretty easy then you'll be able to open the installer and now we have to wait for forge or fabric to finish installing in our computer once the installation is done it's gonna let you know in here go ahead and press ok and you could delete that installer file you don't need that anymore you could also delete this log from your desktop you won't be using that and now it's time to add the mods that we added into our server but to our local installation of Minecraft. So go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And if this is too confusing for you guys, what we're doing here is installing the same mods and mod loader that we have, because without that, we won't be able to join the server. We have to match the exact same settings of the server in our side to be able to join. And by the way, your friends also have to do this. So you might want to send in this video as well. Now, once you open your Minecraft launcher, you should have Forge selected here automatically, but we're going to head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected. Without modded, you actually won't see Forge. And then once you see Forge in here, hover over it and press on the 
open installations folder. That is going to place you in this folder where we're now looking for another folder called mods. M-O-D-S and you might actually not have a mods folder so I'm going to delete mine to teach you what to do. If you don't have a mods folder just press on new, press folder and then name it mods M-O-D-S in case you didn't have one when you came over here. Now open this mods folder app and in here we're going to have to add every single mod that we have in our server but on this folder as well. Now for that head back into your server and come down to the mods tab down here on the left and that'll put you back into this mods page and in here you want to find all the mods that you install in your server. Let's say for example we installed the waste mod which we did right so you're going to press in there and and that'll put you over here. And now we're gonna press right here on the link for that waste on mod outside of Aternos. So press on this link and that'll redirect you to this page in here where you're gonna head over to files. And now you're gonna look for the game version that you're using, in this case 1.21.5, right? Once you select it, you're gonna see it right here, but you need to find the mod loader version that matches your server. Now, if you remember properly, we're using Forge. So we're gonna select Forge here on all mod loaders. And then we should see all the Forge ones in here. We're going to download the latest one, which is the newest one for 1.21.5 and Forge as the mod loader. And I'm really hoping this is not too confusing for you guys. So what you're going to do in here is press on these three dots and click download file. And then just wait five seconds for that file to download. Now you also want to go back into your server. And if you had any dependencies like me, bomb, for example, you want to download that one as well. Now what I want you to do next is place those files that you just downloaded, which should be here on your recent download history or the downloads folder in your computer and place those mods file into the mods folder that we had just opened through our Minecraft launcher. So it will be the waste on mod for me and it will also be the bomb forge mod for me, which is one mod with one dependency. Once you have those files in here, make sure you don't have any other mod in here because if you don't have the right mods in here, you won't be able to join the server. And once you have all the mods in here, close this folder, come back into Aternos, click on server and start your server. And then once your server has started, copy your address for your server, go back into Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher and then launch the game using the mod loader that you installed. In this case it was forge. So click on play in here. You might get this prompt. You could read through it over here and then if you understand pressing here and hit play now once you open minecraft since you're using force you will see the mods tapping here and now what we're gonna do is press on multiplayer we're gonna proceed in here and we're gonna press direct connection or add server if you want to have your server saved in here as you can see in here i already saved it but if you put direct connection and you paste your server address in here and you press join server if you added all the mods properly to your client side meaning to your computer and all the mods properly to the server side meaning aternos you should be able to join without any issues let's go ahead and wait in here and there we go and since i installed the waste mod i'm gonna go ahead and taste it let me make myself a creative here and then let's just find waystone in here just so you guys could see we have the waystone mod working which is the mod that we're installing our server in here and let's name this subscribe because i know you guys are about to subscribe and there we go guys that is how to get mods in your aternos server this is a full guide i hope this video helped you out if it did don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time